The Billboard Hot 100, um, for the first time in a very long time, does not incorporate any hip-hop or rap music. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's the first time since uh, Kendrick's Not Like Us fell out of the 10th slot. And I think a lot of conversation around this is, let me just read some of the names, right? At one, Shabuzi. Uh, at two, Billie Eilish. Three, Post Malone. Four, Sabrina, Sabrina. Carpenter. Five, Lady, Lady Gaga. Gaga. I think you guys are kind of seeing what we're getting at. Damn. And it kind of seems as if it's being whitewashed a bit. A lot of the conversation swirling around this was, is this because of the battle or mm. how much do we need a person that's consistent as Drake? Right? Like, if it's one thing. No, nah, I think I think these charts, they always kind of pull a wool over your eyes. Uh-huh. I think everything has its moment. Life is a reflection of cycles. And so there's going to be a cycle where hip-hop dominates the charts, and then there's going to be cycles where pop dominates. Like, I don't think this is anything to be alarmed over. You don't I think do. it's strategic with everything being downsized no. and the music labels and pro and specifically the hip-hop yeah. departments and R&B departments? A lot, of, a lot of upheaval. I don't think that because I think really? a lot of the hip-hop artists are making microwave music, and now we're finally seeing a reflection of that. I mean, that, not necessarily. I feel like they've been making microwave music for a long time. Mm -hmm. but it's been marketed and promoted in a way as to where it feels grander. Mm -hmm. So that's what I mean. I feel like this feels as if we can feel the absence mm -hmm. of the people in those chairs that help hip-hop music. So I'm thinking about some of the people who would be within that top 10 on Billboard, right? I'm just thinking Billboard. I'm not thinking yeah. street anthems. I'm not thinking the club. Nah, I'm Big thinking Board. Billboard, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, we got Drake. Drake is whatever he's been doing hasn't been connecting for whatever yeah. reason it just has not been connecting. We're supposed so to get some of us. Let's remove Drake it's from top ten. Obviously Kendrick Lamar, not like us. Mm -hmm. It had his moment. It's clearly faded away. It's no longer in the top ten. It's at eleven. Is that eleven? All right, cool. Time is recording. Yeah. It's still right there. Mm -hmm. It's still right there. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about J Cole. J Cole has never been a consistent top ten Billboard chart. I think he's somebody who's more tapped in with the culture. Somebody who has a, a very elaborate skill set but he's never been somebody that the charts really vibed with right mm -hmm. then let's talk about some of the others let's talk about a young thug young thug he ain't been here right young sure. thug is somebody who's been in the top 10 billboards just off of his features with the camille cabellos um his pop songs like he's been somebody who's been able to kind of transform into that right? Right, right then i think of a future future I think Future has his moments, but he's not consistently in the top 10, maybe unless he's linked up with a Drake. Or oh, when he right? puts out an album. When he puts out an album. Yeah. But, like, everybody is making such disposable music. Again, I, I, I mentioned the Young Thugs. I also want to mention somebody like a Juice World, who I think would have been always in the top 15, top 10 when he was putting out music. He's no longer here with us, right? Like, mm -hmm. there's just certain artists, and I think now the times are catching up with the music industry to where hip-hop, people aren't really prioritizing it as a craft. I agree, but a lot of that is people aren't prioritizing as a craft, but it's a reason why these artists get with these big labels. They make you look more visible, right? And to your point, a lot of this pop music is kind of here to stay, right? Mm -hmm. Like a Teddy Swim joint, oh, yeah. that's been buzzing. He's got two on there, uh, top 25. Top he's, 20, he's in the top 25, you see that? Twice, yeah. Sabrina Carpenter, we know what that's about, et cetera. Like, these are pop stars. Pop mm -hmm. music plays frequently in a lot, especially when it's a hit. Mm -hmm. But... Like a Glorilla, like a TGIF. This is this is kind of where they where they would come I, through. I love Glorilla. Yeah, I really do. I think she is. I think she's what in the thirties right now. People thought Meg Thee Stallion would have been, should have been, could have been, whatever the case may be. I love Glorilla. I, I have nothing bad to say about her. Right. But I do think about translating in the mainstream media. I think the big three that we have in that light would be a Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj, she's torn. She ain't worried about putting out no music right now. She's right. making money on the tour. She's going crazy. She's yeah. doing a thing. She's a legacy act who also have the luxury of having current fans. So Nicki, I don't expect her to be in the top 10 every week. Mm -hmm. Cardi B. Cardi B ain't dropped no music. But the Pete, only time we talk about Cardi B is oh, when, shit. you know, she's in some bullshit yeah. or when yeah. she drops a single. Yeah. Like, she doesn't have any lasting power today because she's just not dropping music. Mm -hmm. And then Meg Thee Stallion, Meg, she's super marketable. I think Meg Thee Stallion is a walking commercial. For mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. She is. 
I see her with the NFL players. I'm probably going to see, see her with the NBA players <laughs> on the commercials. You see all that. But the music is just not resonating with results. And so all of our stars, Travis Scott, I think people are tired of Travis Scott. I think the smoke and mirrors are wearing off on Travis Scott. A few weeks ago, he dropped the Days Before Rodeo mixtape. It was number one. Oh. Apparently, it sold like 400,000 units. <laughs> and and then dropped. the very next week, he was no longer in the Billboard <laughs> yeah. Top 100. See like, you, boy. Things yeah. like that. Like, we're no longer stupid. The consumer is smarter today. Yeah. And so all of these people who we would assume to be in that top 10, they're not in there, not because they aren't talented or because they don't have the music or the catalog or whatever the case may be but they're not in the top 10 because they aren't putting out top 10 music as great as drake is yeah. nothing that he's put out this year is worthy of a top 10 slot not but mad at that kendrick packed them up though so after that it's, it's hard to put out stuff where people will start to actually like still tune in kendrick changed That's the perspective tough. of a lot of people when it came to drake Real that talk. is true yeah you know what i'm saying like a lot of people, they look at it completely differently. And I get your your point about the legacy acts not being up there, but what about the new acts, right? Like there are new acts on the Billboard Top 10 here. Sabrina Carpenter's, the Shot Boozies. Um, shit, Sabrina Carpenter's here twice. Chappelle Rowan, Teddy Swims. These are new artists, Yeah. right? So it's like, what genre? I, I, I already intro with that. The pop. Yeah. The country. 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 Yeah, for sure. But hip hop was always more popular than country. People, we, <laughs> I think people, labels, executives, they aren't investing in those acts anymore. That's what I, oh, so we saying the same thing. No, we thing. are. Okay, we are. bet. We're saying bet. the same thing. Bet. But I just think we got to break it down into layman's terms for people who may not really understand why. Right. You get what I'm saying? Sure. Like, Why? aren't we talking about the Victoria Monet's in this same breath? Why but do you aren't we think talking those, about do you, But do you guys think those label execs actually really gave a fuck <laughs> if, it were, if the song's quality was amazing or if they just had somebody that was popular and that they could market? Yeah, I think the popularity and the marketing definitely took over more than... That's always the been their yeah. thing. Yeah, like taking an artist who the song might be okay, right? Like I'm sure when, when Lil Uzi put an XO tour like people were like, what the fuck? <laughs> but they saw a look, they saw a dude with a ton of charisma, personality, and he was super marketable. Mm -hmm. And the song, I think, reached number one on the pop billboard. Yo, y'all can fact check me if I'm wrong. But that's what I think is missing, right? Like you know, even for as as many times as Meg the Stallion has gone top five, when she dropped like Mamushi. Mama Sushi? Mama Sushi. That's what it's called? Oh, that's yeah. that shit uptown in Dyke. Mama Sushi. Yeah. My mama Hasha. Oh, y'all yeah, know Hasha. Mama Sushi? Y'all don't know about that uh, shit. I, know, yeah, go I know about Mama Sushi. Now, you don't know about Mama <laughs> yes, Sushi. Yes, I do. <laughs> that's in the yeah. X. Chill out. What you I doing know. over there? What you doing over there? That's one of my... You know nah, I, mean? I know. Like, I was surprised that that didn't really, like, hit for as long as some I agree. of her other stuff did. You know I, what I mean? Especially with how diverse... That's a great point, Pete. Yeah. Especially with how diverse a record like that for is. For sure. And the money that's behind her. Yes. Yeah. The person she had featured on, I think he's from one of those famous groups out there. Mm -hmm. like, I'm not surprised. I think in a year and a half, in two Chima. years, yeah. the, the, the market will shift, and right. then the hip-hop artists will be back into the forefront. Um, because right now, I, I, I think, and maybe, and I don't know if this is a domino effect from Diddy. Yeah. Because that could also be the thing. Let's go back to the roots. Let's go back to the foundation. There are a lot of executives. There are a lot of people who may be trying to lay low and not mm. really be out there with the whole Diddy effect. Because the That's Diddy effect point. is real. We haven't point. seen it yet, <laughs> but we all know it's coming. 